Hi, I'm Tim Dolbear. Welcome to First Look into the New Generation of Digital Audio Workstations from Magix, Sample2 Pro X, our new flagship product. Now, Sample2 Pro X brings a wealth of new features to the ballgame, including 64-bit compatibility. Now remember, all the features I'm going to show you through are in addition to all the features that are contained in Sampletude Pro 11. So if you're new to Sampletude, please check out the video and introduction to Sampletude. Now let's dive into these features. The first thing you'll notice and probably want to check out is the new graphic user interface. The new docking system allows for almost any element to be rearranged to suit your workflow's needs. Using a series of screen locators, you can drag and drop elements into various arrangements and call them up or hide them as needed. The manager is docked and may be opened or closed either by icon on the screen or by key command, and the elements of Sampletude can exist in either the manager free floating, docked in a different location on the screen outside of the manager, or grouped with other elements to form new groups that are docked or free floating. The object editor has also been reworked. You can now right click on the blank space of the object editor and choose one of the many different ways to display the object editor, from minimal to maximized. There are also a few new items to note about the mouse toolbar. New menus are now available for mouse mode and object modes. This can save a lot of space and clean up the toolbars considerably. Now that the workspace, skins, and the colors are all set to my likings, let's dive into what the new Sampletude Pro X has. Spectral editing has always been a strong point in Sampletude, but up till now, all editing had to be done in the dedicated spectral editor. Now spectral editing has been added in the VIP window, so fast and quick edits can now be handled directly on the VIP. You can change all the tracks over to spectral view. This can be done simply by setting the draw modes in the view options, or you can choose in the options menu for just one object to be changed over to spectral view. Of course, you can also assign a key command for this to make it faster. Once the spectral view has been turned on, you can choose the spectral editing mouse tool and simply begin to edit away. The superb Essentials Effects Suite, or EFX Suite, of plugins have been completely overhauled. In addition to the new graphic user interface with special tweak page, five new plugins have been added to the suite. The Vocal Strip is an excellent channel strip that sits perfectly on most any track. The plugin includes a high pass filter, gate, a deesser, a compressor, and a very special tone or EQ circuit. Opening the tweak page, you can set the deesser's frequency, and you can also set the attack and release for the compressor. Remember, all of the EFX plugins come with many great presets to head you in the right direction setting up audio and learning what the plugins can do. The long-awaited gate is also included. Sasha, the designer of the EFX suite, also created the famous Fish Filet plugins, with its gate that is still considered the best gate by many. The new EFX gate is as follow-up, and I personally consider the new EFX gate to be the best software gate I've personally ever used. Sasha has also developed for Pro X the Tube Stage, an excellent tool for adding harmonic distortion to audio. Included in the Tube Stage's presets are my Tube Console presets. I personally developed these two presets to give an engineer the true representation of tubes and transformers from a vintage console. Try them, it's amazing how these plugins bring the sound to life. The new tremolo pan plugin allows for tremolo and panning to happen in a very musical way, allowing an engineer to sync it to tempo and to place the tremolo and the panning effect exactly as needed. Rounding out the new addition to the EFX suite is the deesser. The controls on the front, along with the frequency adjustment in the tweak section, allows an engineer to dial in on and reduce the vocal S's and even acoustic guitar finger squeaks and brittle cymbals from overhead microphones can all be reduced using this plugin. Changed for this release is the EFX compressor, stereo delay, and chorus and flange plugins. The compressor can now be set up with or without makeup gain via the new tweak page. The stereo delay's analog setting has been expanded to give you both analog delay with variable noise and analog BBD simulation of the old Bucket Brigade devices. The chorus flanger and phaser units now allow for its phase to be dialed in directly, 
allowing you to go from mono to a very wide stereo field and anywhere in between. There are many other new features to note. The extended object-based automation, which now includes pan and EQ and more. Also, the object editor now instantly updates all selected objects using the lock apply to all setup. And you can now create a click track that can be handled the exact same way you would handle any standard audio track. A new tempo automation curve is also provided for drawing out tempo changes. And the mixer skins have been expanded with more aug sends and inserts. Plus, under the hood, there are many other new enhancements to discover, such as the new take naming scheme, and AAF OMF importing and exporting is now included with the program. And rounding out the new features in Pro X is the addition of Yellow Tools Independence Pro sampler and its libraries. Magic's purchased Yellow Tools, and this is going to lead to perfect integration of this excellent sampler into Sampletude in Sequoia. Now SampleTube Pro X comes in two flavors, SampleTube Pro X, which is our flagship product, and in SampleTube Pro X Suites, which contains the add-ons such as a larger sample library for the independent sampler, as well as loop libraries. It also contains the full version of Vandal and the AM Suite plugins for those of you who are new to SampleTube. If you're upgrading from SampleTube 11, you already own licenses for those and will continue to retain those licenses and be able to use those products. So. Go to sampletube.com, you can check out differences there, you can also check out all the latest information and download a trial. Thanks for watching, now go make some music.